Greg, welcome to Morgantown. West Virginia started the season 5 0. Hit a rough stretch. The Mountaineer fans, they believe in their quarterback, Geno Smith, and they hope for a turnaround today against TCU. On a cool day in Morgantown, it's TCU and West Virginia on Fox. Gary Patterson, there he is, 12th year in Fort Worth. TCU's all-time winningest coach, and his counterpart today is Dana Holgerson. Big East and Orange Bowl champs a year ago, and Joel, as we talked about, both these schools making the jump this year to the Big 12. It's been a bumpy, bumpy road for both of them, both Dana and Gary Patterson trying to right the ship here today. West Virginia won the toss they chose to receive, and that kick bounds into the end zone. So the 25-yard line, West Virginia and TCU here on Fox. Geno Smith over the middle, he goes, and just having fun, and he finds his wide Shotgun, Geno Smith flares it out to the flat on the hands of Bowie. And good pursuit by TCU. They stretch the field, looks to be short. They spread the field with five wide receivers. Underneath again is Austin. And TCU looks prepared at the 39-yard line. Not a lot of pressure on this type of attack. On a rollout, slingshots it. Near side, pitch and catch on the hands of Dawson, his 28th reception. This guy is a speedster. He actually rolls up on eight minutes. Here in the corner, handed off, Andre Dean. The senior. High School All-America out of Cook, right alongside Boykin. And Boykin past the first down marker with about a half a yard to spare. Boykin, shotgun, slings it wide open. Inside the 40-yard line is Josh Boyce. Boyce is the team recovery. Third down and eight. Again, the crowd comes alive. Five on the play clock. It's down to four. And they got it away. Low snap. Boykin stands pressured. Oh, beautiful catch. They're going to rule it complete. 24 yard line. And how about Dean checks in the backfield for TCU? Fresh downs, first and 10 at the West Virginia 24. Wide open, over the middle. Inside the five goes Brandon Carter. And again, a soft Boykin's been perfect from the air. On the ground, pushing the pile, and a touchdown, TCU. Matthew Tucker rumbles in for his third touchdown, and the Horn Frog strike first. First touchdown of the game. VAT chip shot for Overchrome, the freshman from Arlington. Third down and three. Mountaineers need to push the chains for a first down under two minutes of play in the first quarter. Geno Smith dancing his feet. You can see him just kind of impatient, and that ball is incomplete. Six rushes for close to 20. Pedals back, pressure, escapes, tripped up, and a flag is down back at the 18-yard line. And the swagger. Young team, there's only one senior in the two deep on the defense. On the rollout, Geno Smith hooks up. Andrew Bowie out of the backfield. Five, one of four today on third down conversion. They load the top of your screen with three wide receivers. Three-step drop, Geno Smith flushed. He's gonna have to tuck and run. Side step from Tassler and a first down. Geno Smith unable to throw. Athletic move, got away from him and got the conversion. Fresh downs for the Mountaineers. They throw down to the backfield. Pitch and catch on the hands of Bowie. And he lowers his pads after about a pickup of eight yards. But gutting it out. The senior from Hampton, Virginia, trying to help his club move the football. First and 10, 22-yard line. Smith stands, throws up top.
remaining first half. Gino all day to throw. Airs it deep across the middle up top and throws it. Intercepted at the 35. Barrett the corner. And that ball hung. And he runs it back to the 45 yard line. We got a that situation. Penalty puts the ball for TCU at the 30 yard line. Up top. Man coverage wide open. On the hands. Touchdown, boys. Oh, does TCU make West Virginia pay after the interception? Backfield. That's a nice creative way of getting people open in the back end. That last series, it backfired tremendously with that interception. They got to keep it underneath to a guy like Baylor or Tavon Austin. Underneath they go. First down, Copeland. Geno Smith, good protection, throws and traffic. Dangerous toss, but it's complete at the 44-yard line. Austin in the slot opposite, opposite him, number one. They hand it off to Austin. Little shovel. Oh, what a turn on a dime. Hits the midfield. Coming the other way. 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, West Virginia. Electricity out of Tavon and Austin to get to the pylon. That's exactly why you got to get the ball to him in space. Boykin, far side, pitch and catch, little nifty move. Boy, he's having a nice first half. We saw Dana Holgerson up. TCU pitching 50% on third down conversions, three of six. Boykin in the pocket, pressured, lets that ball fly. It was maybe deflected the line of scrimmage, but it, it floated incomplete. Smith looking his way, throws up top, and that ball through the hands of Copeland. So that brings up a punt of his college football career. Benton Kurt will punt again, had his career high against Kansas State of 49 yards. This one floats up high. Ball is out! West Virginia covers up at the nine yard line. They clock. It rolls down to six. Geno Smith under center. Takes the handoff. Play action on the rollout. Geno Smith heading to the sideline. Hurdles in. Short at the one yard line. Point after good by Benton Kirk. And Weber set. Boykin shotgun. Third down and 19. Pressure. Boykin throws up top and it's incomplete. He was looking for Brandon Carter and now the horns. Empty backfield. Geno Smith shotgun. Pressure from the edge. Steps and fires. He drags it underneath. The ball on the hands of Austin. And how about that? Smart clock stops. He gets the first down. Oh, and back up to the original line of scrimmage, though. Quick throw, far side. Copeland. And powers his way near the first down. They're going to mark him out. Just about told he's going to play in situational situational plays, but he's been out with foot problems. Harrison. Looks like he's short there. Short by a yard. Yeah, they're going to. Fourth and one, under a minute to go in the half. Yeah, this is a quick kick formation. With your quarterback for his running ability, but he's been pretty loose in the top of this game. Well, this time it's on the ground and tripped up is Bowie. I don't know if they're trying to set up for a field goal try on the near. They'll mark it at the 40. This will be a 50 yard attempt. Play with some moxie in this second half. Third down and five. Tucker, the ball carrier, finds a hole right side. First down and more. 40 lowers his pads and he'll get to the 45. Now, was he there because the ball didn't come out? The ball is out. West Virginia recovers. 
Jared Barber, number third. Ball security. And Petro says drive starts inside TCU territory, 46. Pitch and catch, Austin, and he's tossed down. I don't see a flag. You get a little, little chippy out there. Petro said they never get beat deep, so you're forced to throw it underneath that as a quarterback. Third down at 14. Smith, pocket collapses, escapes. 40, 35, and Geno Smith is tripped up. Has it. Bittenkirk is going to try another field goal. He missed for 50 just before half. This will be for 52. Got it! Forest floor of your home or business. Heavy rains flood roads quickly, so do not drive into areas where water covers the road. Brandon Carter, the intended receiver, and Carl Joseph. It's because of a severe thunderstorm warning for Montgomery County until 4.59 p.m. Again, this station is activating the Houston Area Emergency Alert System at the request of the National Weather Service. To the sideline, bam! Then Court will punt at his own 21. Sky Dawson awaits. Ooh, low snap, Boston. Still loose! Picked up! TCU! Dominic Merck! And that was just a poor snap on a cold day. Those guys stand over there forever. They don't move around. They're not loopings. Second hold on TCU's defense in this game. Here's a quick pass far sideline and wrapped up quickly is Stedman. Bailey, the interception of the season, third down and five. Geno Smith flushed out of the pocket, pulls it down. Little stutter step. Oh, he's going to be close to a first down. Mapunga was in that back. You're right. They had a real hard time with their rhythm. On a keeper. Holgerson's been the gambler in this ball game today. Fourth down. That makes it now three out of. Well, Geno Smith back in after the one game rest, but he throws to the near side. It's caught by J.D. Woods. Time for a game break. Still trying to shake off that pass attempt by Millard. I mean, that was that was nuts. I think they were surprised uh, his teammates were. As Gino goes far aside, pitch and catch. Austin, little, little room. That's all he needs, and he still won't go down at the 28-yard line. Well, he is incredibly tough because the defender is actually right between you and your wide receiver. Eighth play of this drive. Smith got a high hurdle. Well, he is taking some punishment. He went flying. Took me three. This will be a 43-yard attempt off the far hash. The kicks away. No good. No good. Boyke gets a snap away. Has to put it in his hands. Wants to run. Now he throws on the run. And coming back to help is Cam White. But again, flags are out of the 25-yard line. For a very long time. All right, Mike Pereira, thanks for that great insight. As we go back to action, Boykin, oh, he got the ball out in the hands. Boyce breaks it inside the 10-yard line. Boyce has been a big-time receiver in this in this ball game, and Bale's got to make a play. We got a loaded backfield, three seconds on the play clock. Got it away. Boykin throws, dart, picked at the goal line. It's in the hands of Isaiah Bruce. Interception of the season for Isaiah Bruce. Well, shotgun Geno Smith. Pressure from the edge, fires, and that ball's incomplete. And West Virginia now will punt away and team. Quick hitter, Cavalon. How about that first down run yeah, off the right side? Picks up. Let's listen in. Boy can rush that throw. It's incomplete. Cam White. 
Fourth and five. Boykin. Flush. Using his legs. Has room. First down in his cartwheel to the 25. Shaq Pedal was taking the red zone from TCU on their last series. But now they get an opportunity right back and they're moving the ball well. On the option, Boykin hit, spins, and is down to the 16-yard line. Play clock to two, play clock to one. Just got the snap away. Boykin stands tall, runs out of the pocket. 10-yard line, little stutter, and he is tossed out of bounds at the end yard. This is last two after making 10 in a row. Little chip shot up and good. We are tied in Morgantown. Top of your screen. First down. Bowie crashes past the full play. Smith flushed. Tried to throw a sidearm. And that is a dangerous, a dangerous play. TCU with the football, first and ten. Andre Dean, big game. Boykin flushed, tucks and runs, weaves his way for a first down and steps out of bounds. He said that's very hard to do without a play action set, so this is going to be a pocket pass. Third down and long. Boykin, the rush comes. Slings it. Incomplete. Behind Baylor, they racked up over 600 yards of passing. They just... Geno Smith throws that ball up over the top and off the hands of Bowie. It's another example. Six to move the chains. Boykin, shotgun. Out of the pocket, pressure. It will not escape West Virginia's defense. Maybe one of the biggest, if not the biggest, play of the game. From a defense, playing with a sense of urgency. They've done that today here in Morgantown. Perry, big punt. Austin, watch out. 50, 40. Austin, goodbye. Touchdown, West Virginia. And a skip. Catalan incomplete and Will Clark and company along with Louis in the backfield with Geno Smith. The play is saved and Bowie is taken down at the 47. Chucky Hunter and Mallet. And this further emboldens Joe DeForest to come after the quarterback. Loss of nine. In the end zone is Boykin. Sets his feet. Out of the pocket, slingshots it downfield, has a man at the 40, big room to rumble. It's Boyce, 30, 25, 20, Boyce, goodbye! Touchdown, TCU! The impossible, 94 yards. 30, minute 28 left. And the kick is up and splits the upstra uprights. We're tied at 31. He's one for three. Right now, West Virginia using the sidelines to their advantage, but they do have two timeouts. There's an option. And Geno Smith pulls the ball. That ball's down. Did they blow a whistle? I didn't hear one. That ball was out before a whistle. Mallet's got the football for TCU. They ruled that day Down. based on forward progress. Both lines. One all time. TCU and West Virginia. <laughs> Trying to set it up for a field goal opportunity. And Bowie, oh, pushes the pile. 
to the 40. Here at 31 all with 24 seconds to play. 38 yard line at TCU is West Virginia. Geno Smith going back to work. Looks downfield, home run ball. Up top, he goes incomplete. Earlier of 52. Here we go. Good snap, kicks away. No. Never had a chance. Five wide receivers. Third down today, four of 16. Quick slant. Not much. Carter. Taken down at the 20. Hard attempt. No. Time, their first possession, 25 yard line, first and 10. Quick throw. Trying to break. Might just see a run and a field goal attempt. Third down at four. Quick throw, far side. Little pitch and catch, Copeland again. And maybe a yard to the 19 yard line. At the end of regulation. We'll mark it at the 26. This will be from 36 yards in the win for West Virginia. It kicks up. Hard <laughs> line. Both teams missing field goals in the first overtime period. Geno Smith dancing, looking, ball hangs up. Oh! Touchdown! And a flags out. Stedman Bailey. And let's see what this flag's about. Pass interference on the defense number two. Penalties the call. Touchdown. Jason Barrett has had such a good game. Third catch of the day for Stedman Bailey to put West Virginia on top in the second. Boykin. In round. Now the pass. My oh my. Fuller tied in. Trickery. Touchdown. PAT to come. Playground. They are for two. How about this? Gary Patterson rolling the dice. Here is the second overtime. Boykin slingshots it low. Did he catch it? Yes! Josh Boyce! And it double overtime. The gamble pays off. TCU on the road beats West Virginia.